Okay, I'm gonna go over a few things that you need to know about stringing an 03 racket. I've had a lot of requests for it. Um, it's really not that much different from a regular racket. Just want to get that out of the way. It's 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 not. Um, there's just one or two uh, different things that you need to know. Uh, first of all, the, the one is when you're starting, if it's an 03, it's going to start at the top. They always start at the top. This is where your halfway point is if you're um, stringing two-piece, or this is where your short side ends and your long side begins. Also, note, just like with wooden rackets, with uh, Wilson roller rackets, if you are stringing one piece, be sure you note the short side. Um, you don't want to get you know, all the way through and have to start over or cut it and do two piece. Um, but anyway, I'm going to string this up and show you the second part that's an issue and that's only when you start to do the crosses. So I'll just skip through all this and cut right to that. Okay, after you get through the crosses that have regular grommets, or at least just smaller holes, and you get into the larger O ports, uh, the first one is going to be the hardest and it's going to get easier, but uh, there's three ways to deal with it. Um, first let me show you the problem. If you just tension it normal, it tensions off to the side, I'll let that go so it's not so damaging, but tensions off to the side like this instead of up against the post where it should be here and you don't you don't want that that's bad um, so there's a, a couple ways to circumvent that the best way is to use a table lock if your machine has a turntable lock just turn the racket off to the side like this or yeah, just off as far as you need to lock it and then tension it it's easier with like a linear gripper than a rotational gripper because the rotational gripper are, are, It'll tend to rub up against the string, so it's it's not the best, but um, just lock it, pull the tension, and then unlock it when you're ready to move on. It's, it's a little time consuming, but um, it, it really is the best way. Um, second best way, in my opinion, is to, especially if you have a, a, a constant pull machine like a drop weight or an electric constant pull machine, just kind of hold it off to the side. You can... Um, for example, like I'll just stand on this side and put my hip into it, pull the tension, and as long as I'm standing here, the racket can't pivot. And because it's a constant pull machine, it's adjusting for the fact that the, the, uh, the racket is cocked to one side. Whereas a crank, when you cranked it and pulled the tension, it'll be at the right tension, but if you were to move just a little bit this way or a little bit that way, it won't adjust. It's it's going to be a different tension. Okay, so it's good it's good to do this with a constant pull machine. Otherwise, you have to to lock it if you have a crank. Um, but the other way, uh, which is kind of harder to do now, just because they don't have them anymore. In fact, I've misplaced mine. Is to use a boomerang tool. Some people say that you can use a sharpie marker uh, cap, but I actually I have one and it doesn't fit in the tour one. So I guess you'd have to have something smaller. Um, some some guy one guy said he uses his thumb that probably hurts I I, I wouldn't suggest doing that um, but again the best way is to have a turntable lock if you have a machine like a X2 you can still do this because it's a constant pull machine you just set it put your hip into it and push the uh, the drop weight over and guide it down and if it's off, you can lean over and fix it. If not, have somebody else there with you that can hold it in place while you adjust the, uh, the arm to parallel. And then once the arm's in parallel and the string's straight across, across then you can clamp it. It's, it's Again, it's really time consuming, but it's, it's much better than tensioning it off to the side like this. You're going to break string like that. It's not consistent. And uh, you just don't want to do it like that. So that is the biggest thing with... Uh, 03 rackets and again they get easier after you get about halfway the racket will turn in the right direction and you won't have to do this anymore and if you're holding it with your hip it may seem hard up top here but it gets easier uh, the only time when it's really really hard is on a speed port racket where down here you have to do it for the last cross that good luck to you um, use a turntable lock sometimes I've even had to 
do both a turntable lock and put my hip into it because it's so much of an angle that the turntable lock can't even hold it. Um, but you're not the only one having problems. Everybody has to do this when they when they string an O3 racket. So, uh, but that's it. I hope that explained and cleared th cleared things up for for people. Thank you. Okay. Also, I wanted to show you that it's important to know uh, on a speed port if you're going to be replacing the side grommets, you can push them out with your thumbs if they've been replaced before and they're and they're kind of loose. Um, but otherwise, your racket should have come with this in the packet. It's just a little uh, stepping tool here. Works on all the speed ports, so that's why it's different sizes. You just put that in there and push, and then I'll hop it out. Eventually, see this one's real easy because it's it's probably been replaced a couple times. But um, you take it out, you put the new ones in. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I've even seen people mix them up where they put, you know, the, the hole inserts on the side and the regular ones on top or vice versa or even side to side, whichever. Uh, so there's so there's room for that. But just wanted to point that out as another thing that you may see with O3 rackets. So that's that easy. Thank you.